293, Alexandria is number one hit music station. We have a special guest joining us live in studio. That would be local artist Joe London. Joe, good morning. Thanks good for coming morning, in. Good morning, guys. How are you Good y'all? morning. Last time we had you in, you were on the phone, so it's good to have you in studio. Absolutely, yeah. 13 <laughs> hours away from you, actually. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know. It was a little chaotic. So here's the deal. You're home for I'm the home holidays. For the holidays. <laughs> the most important holiday of the year <laughs> here. So tell us what you've been up to. And I, just in case people don't realize who you are, you're local. I am local. I'm born and raised here, Alexandria, Louisiana. Remember, Deep roots. Absolutely. We actually uh, touched on the fact that your son and I went to school together. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm that old. <laughs> this sucks. I'm getting there. Sucks. You better not get there because if you get there, I'm going to be real old. <laughs> so... So, anyways, so yeah, you um you were involved in theater, did some singing, yes. just yeah, did it all. I did. Um, started off doing piano at seven years old, and you know, my mother she did a lot of plays growing up, and I remember you know telling her I wanted to do this, you know, and I'm older, and sure enough, I did. And uh, music just went. The, you know, that's that's what I did the most. You know? Yeah, Theater's it's what cool. you love. That's what I love doing the most. Yeah. So. It's where you're grounded. It's Absolutely. where home is. So tell us, what all have you done? Where? What have you worked on? Because um, hey, you you live in Tampa, right? I do. Right I live out in so Florida. So how did you get from Alexandria to Tampa, Florida? I love this part of the story. So <laughs> um, me and my two roommates were all from here. Uh, Josh Griffin and my boy Will Smith. Uh, his mm-hmm. Bo- Boski. He's a mm-hmm. rap, rapper friend of mine. And uh, we all got together. We all had a house out there, and um, we started this little business, like a little record label, if you will, and we just left here and moved out there, and they heard me, and I heard them, and we, we've been friends for seven years, and it's a life-changing thing. Um, as far as like what I'm doing with my career, uh, one of the coolest things I like to say is uh, one of my songs was featured on a show called Queen Sugar on, yeah. on, on the Oprah Winfrey Network, mm-hmm. oh, wow. and I'm flipping through the channels, waiting for it. You had that my, moment. My friend's dad goes, Jojo, go back, go back, go back. Um, is that you singing? And I said, oh my gosh, sure enough, it is. So, I'm, you know, I'm on Instagram, Facebook. I'm <laughs> telling my grandmother everything. And um, in the last interview we had, I we talked about my song Seekers with Choppa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that actually has been doing pretty well for, like, you know, supporting the whole local artist thing. And um, Choppa's obviously doing great. Yes. Choppa style still goes hard. I know, right? I heard it yesterday. <laughs> Everybody does that song. I heard it yesterday and was like, oh my God, that song's never going to go away. <laughs> How was it it's, to do a song with him? I think y'all did a video too. Am I we honestly? shot a music video yeah. for Secrets. He genuinely, I'm not even saying this, he is one of the most humble people I have ever met. I've met. heard that from somebody else too. He, he is a family man. The grandmothers love him. When he actually <laughs> took me out in the street, I kid you not, that song, I want a slim fine woman with some twerk in her. Yeah. her grandmas were like, I'm like, they go, Choppa, Choppa, what do you think? I'm like, he's like, get it, baby. I'm like, <laughs> So I, he's showing me around town, having a good time. It, it's Mardi Gras every day in New Orleans. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, it is. It so. is. I mean, it every day. Well, so what? You have something new that's come out, right? I do. I wrote this three weeks ago. And you like lit just up. you, right? I did. Yeah, um, you like just lit up just mentioning it. Like we talked <laughs> last night, and you were just so excited about this new one. So tell us what what do you want to tell us about it? Well, I've heard it. I love it. I love the song because I wanted to, you know, try to hit that whole, you know, when I say cliche, I don't mean in a negative way, but uh, like top 40 sound. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Khalid. I love mm-hmm. Palsy, what Post Malone's doing. Yep. And I've actually been told people say, you know, you have that mix. You know, John Mayer was a big friend of mine. Yes. Like, uh, fan of mine. I'm sorry. Or opposite way, whatever. But um, this song is about my son. Uh, for those that don't know that, I do have a son. And I just wanted to hit the key point of how, you know, he... Um, his mom and I were really good friends now, mm-hmm. you know. But she's out, she's out in Arizona, and I'm here. But we make it work. We, we yeah. co-parent together. Co-parenting, it's not, it's not something that's easy. But you have to like sort of separate yourself from the emotion part of Absolutely. it and realize that you have to focus on the kid part of it. Absolutely. I, at first, I didn't think it would be subject matter to talk about on the air. But you know, I'm always thinking. You know, you hear rappers talk about partying and yeah. you know, clothes and all these things, and I'm like, why not? You know, for real. Fun? I mean, from the heart, really. I mean, yeah. I, I'm not going to lie, and I'll say it on the air. I teared up writing the song. Yeah. I'm very passionate about it. Um, you know, I mean. To I, me, those are the best songs, though. R- yeah, real stories. Right? Like Absolutely. a real legit story to it. And that is something that's so, you know, I get a lot of crap because I have a good relationship with my son's father. Mm-hmm. And it, it's almost like a better relationship yeah. now that it's done gave me chills. than it ever was. <laughs> I know, right? Than it ever was in the 17 years we were married. But I mean, 
yeah there needs to be more music like that Absolutely. it is an experience that we all go through and struggle with and so i love the song i can't freaking wait it's called real talk right real talk yes mm-hmm. and I, we are q93 are the first ones to play it on the all air right. we're going to be releasing it uh, next week on itunes all major platforms spotify mm-hmm. I'm a, i love spotify so much i know right <laughs> i know <laughs> um, so it's changed the way we do absolutely, everything <laughs> definitely yeah um where can people find you online i'm sure you're on facebook twitter absolutely website so, um to all the kids and anybody that has Instagram, it's just Joe London. Mm-hmm. Y'all know how I sp- J E A U X. Yeah. If you're from Louisiana, you know how. I've had people say Jux London. Oh, oh I'm wow. sure. And like, they're like, what is that? I mean, that was it's, it's Joe London. It's, it's yeah. French, right? Like, yeah. You know, so. Yeah, they messed that all up. So uh, Facebook, um, Instagram. I don't do Twitter. Yeah, um, I no have Twitter, Twitter but <laughs> I have Josh loves it. I have it, but I'm not even gonna lie, I don't use it. Yeah. Instagram's my biggest. And Snapchat, yeah. I'm on Snapchat. Uh, there's, yeah. there's a what's the, the underscore, not the not the yes. minus. On the so Joe underscore London. If y'all want to follow me there, and then Joe London on Instagram. That's my my favorite. Platform. Your two platforms, yeah, yeah. that you love. Exactly. Well, it's so awesome to have you home. I hope you had a great Mardi Gras. Absolutely, I got to hang out with you. I know, right? <laughs> we hung out in the the cigar yes. airstream. That was the coolest freaking. <laughs> thing i've ever can seen. i tell you talking to you like from the, i thought that I, I felt like you know what i'm gonna pretend like i'm on tour right now and i'm on a tour bus <laughs> kicking back with it a radio was, personality it was so cool it was i mean it was an old airstream this guy's turned into a cigar bar it was like the most genius thing i've yeah, ever definitely. seen well thank you for coming in and um before you go we want you to introduce the song that we're about to play since it's the first time we play it cool okay so uh guys uh, my name is joe london and here's my new song real talk shout out to my son river corbett lincoln i love you you know how it is. Nothing personal here. But we had to shut the door on this one. Yeah. Let's go. Alright. Yeah, I'm coming in right here. I'm gonna admit it. I was sitting waiting for the phone call. Three in the morning in my kitchen. Had to hear the news from your cousin because you never wanted to tell me you did it. I can imagine you crying when you're looking at him But not the same way you did looking at me At least a part of me could make you happy Real talk, hold up, hold up I just told you about another man with you in the room And he ain't grown up, grown up I can only say that cause my name's in his mouth And he never really showed up, showed up But your mother called me telling me congratulations And you really wanna tell her Had to break the news that I really wasn't there And now she's looking at me like she thinks I didn't care But she don't need to know What you and me got between us is not about the love I need a little bit but I don't wanna like enough But you never really know it cause you never hear me talking to Game that you play And I don't wanna hurt anybody else in the way So let's be friends on that weekend And keep it cool so you and him can sleep in I'm gonna admit it I was sitting waiting for the phone call Three in the morning in my kitchen Had to hear the news from your cousin Cause you never wanted to tell me you did it I can imagine you crying when you're looking at it But not the same way you did looking at me At least a part of me could make you happy Real talk at least a part of me could make you happy. Real talk. You ain't even wanna say shit. At least a part of me could make you happy. Real talk. And I ain't even tryna be the one. At least a part of me could make you happy. Real talk. At least a part of me could. At least a part of me could. Tell you for the one time. One time. Don't you wanna do it for a good life? You and me, we gotta keep it cool. But I know we can be friends if you're really in the mood. Like. For the one time, one time, don't you wanna do it for a good life? You and me, we gotta keep it cool, but I know we can be friends if you're really in the mood. Like, I'm gonna admit it. I was sitting waiting for the phone call, three in the morning in my kitchen. Had to hear the news from your cousin, cause you never wanted to tell me you did it. I can imagine you crying when you're looking at it But not the same way you did looking at me At least a part of me could make you happy Real talk Game that you play And I don't wanna hurt anybody else in the way 